we are going to talk about Vario's uh, unclonable RFIDs. Uh, but before I do that, let me talk uh, briefly about the technology that is at the core of these RFIDs. It's called Physical Unclonable Functions. It's a recent invention from MIT. And uh, the fundamental concept behind uh, Physical Unclonable Functions, or POF technology as we call it, is uh, you know in the semiconductor manufacturing process, there are variations, very minute variations. These are unavoidable variations, completely random, and very difficult to control. Physical unclonable functions take advantage or rather exploit these variations and uh, they provide us with these chip unique characteristics. It's a kind of biometrics technology for silicon chips. We call it the silicon biometrics technology. It works quite like uh, a biometric technology like uh, fingerprinting or DNA would work for us human beings. By the virtue of these physical unclonable functions being very tiny, uh, you can uh, apply in, into places where you want to implement security and authentication at lower price points. Now RFIDs, if you are aware, uh, are you know things that people want to apply to uh, consumer products, pharmaceutical products, um, many different applications of RFID. And uh, where we are targeting these RFIDs are applications that desire some authentication uh, at low cost. So let me show you how Vera M4H RFID authentication works. Uh, before I show you authentication, let me show, let me talk about the provisioning. The way it works is when the chip is created, whether it is uh, when it is still in the form of a wafer, or it's an RFID tag but not yet put on the final product, some parameters are collected from the chip. These parameters are externally encrypted uh, using a key that is known to the reader, and then provisioned back on the chip. So if I keep this tag on a reader. What you see in this orange box are those puff parameters that were extracted, encrypted externally and then provisioned back on the chip's memory. These are unique to this particular chip. If I repeat this experiment over here with another RFID tag, you see another bunch of puff parameters which are unique to this particular chip. Now let's look at how the Vera M series RFIDs are authenticated. It actually follows three simple steps. Step number one, the chip's unique tag ID is read. Along with that, the chip's unique puff parameters are read. Step number two, the chip unique puff parameters are decrypted and the reader calculates uh, a random challenge and the corresponding response it expects from the real chip. Step number three, it turns around and gives that challenge to the chip, to the real chip, gets the response now it compares the response it has calculated with the response it got from the real chip. If the two match, then the chip is real, otherwise it's a fake. So here we're going to read the one of the RFID tags and see the results. The tag ID is read, uh, a random challenge is given to the chip, and a response is calculated. That's the expected response. Uh, the chip turns around and gives uh, this particular response. That's the actual response and the number of matches is more than 96, hence the chip is authentic. Now if I repeat this experiment with another chip, wherein I have copied the puff parameters from one chip to the other, they're not corresponding to the same physical being. Now if I repeat this experiment, uh, the chip's tag ID is read, a random challenge and an expected response is calculated. The chip gives this as the actual response, and if you look at the number of matching bits, it's much less than 96, hence the chip is a counterfeit chip. Now here's another RFID tag where there are no puff parameters provision. So actually there are all zeros. Now if you put it on the RFID reader, the reader reads zeros as puff parameters, calculates a response, gets a very different response. Uh, the number of matching bits is much less than 96, hence it's a counterfeit. So what we've seen here are new kind of RFIDs. These are based on puff technology, these are unclonable and have a very novel approach towards authentication.